Good morning. Yes, I threw on yesterday's sweater. I'm not planning on wearing this all day, don't worry. Who's looking at me? Hi, who am I talking to, Memers? That was definitely a look of, who are you talking to, Mom? I have been on phone, on the phone with two different insurance companies twice and three different doctor's offices. Oh my gosh, that's like a full-time job. And I'm still smiling. Might be a maniacal grin, but I'm still smiling. I'm trying to straighten out Shane's insurance nightmare and Jake's getting his wisdom teeth pulled on Monday and I either discovered insurance fraud on his uh, oral surgeon's part or just a small unintentional error. So we're trying to nail that down before the procedure. I'll keep you posted. Hey guys, I forgot my memory card at home. I was editing. Anyway, I'm here picking up Shane. No, we don't do that. Michael's on his way to Oxford, Mississippi to pick up Jake. He is, as of this moment, done with finals. Woohoo! And look who I brought with me. <laughs> He's napping. Are you hiding? Oh my gosh, can he be any cuter? No, you cannot. Why do I talk in a baby voice when I'm talking to a puppy? Oh, <gasps> you're so cute. Okay, that was disgusting. Anyway, just hanging out in the parking lot, as you do, and um, just been hanging out at the house, hanging out in the parking lot, have done nothing, played with that new BB cream from Dr. Jarts. I think I'm liking it. It's been a really lazy day, and um, sorry, I'm fixing something on my phone. That's it. Just waiting for Shane, and I think I'm driving home a few friends. This is why we have a big car, fill it with children, until, all of it, until all, Shane and all of his friends have their licenses, and then they won't need me anymore. I will no longer be a chauffeur. When I was a kid, one of my um, friends, his mother, had a big old station wagon. Do you guys remember those big old Buick station wagons that had the wood panels on the sides? And her license, she had a vanity plate and it said chauffeur. And I just thought that was hysterical. She had three boys, I think, and she was just forever running carpools. I was in one of them, actually. Hi. See the nose? Look at that nose. That's a noble nose. It is 43 degrees, which I know for many of you seems like warm and balmy even for December. It's not, not here. Who is she talking to? He keeps looking at me like, who are you talking to? There's nobody else in this car, woman. You'll learn. You'll learn. Anyway, big news, big news. Some of you spotted it on Twitter that our high school foot head high school football coach is leaving us. He got snapped up to coach at Baylor um, in some capacity, not head coach. It's very exciting. Um, got a lot of questions about how I feel about that. I feel very excited to be connected in some small way to um, a program that has a coach leaving us to coach at the collegiate Big 12 level. I think that's really awesome for him and, uh, and it's great for our school. We do not know who the new head coach is, so there's that, but I'm really happy for our coach and his family and I know it'll be a great fit for them so that is how I feel about that I think it's pretty cool and he went there our head coach went to Baylor for his undergraduate education and played football there so it's kind of like coming full circle so I think that's really cool I have one quick question before I turn off the vlogging camera what is this does anybody know this is Rowdy's favorite hard toy he's looking at me yes I'll give it back to you he loves it what is this though? I assume it's a horn from what animal? A goat? A, like what? A sheep? I don't know. Can someone please tell me in the comments? I would appreciate it. He loves it. Keeps him busy for hours. And then I don't have to be a chew toy. Like that. Whoa! Like that. You see that? And that? Yeah. I'm the chew toy. Very chew. Deuce! You're such a good girl. Rowdy, say hi to your friend. She's like, Rowdy's here, right? Oh, Rowdy's in charge. And a boy. You go Don't get her. That. Go get her. She's so silly. He weighs 17 Deuce pounds. How much does Deuce weigh? I love you. 87. Right? That's a gold 87 pounds. That's a gold bird right there. Deuce. Tough. Oh, the That's a gold bird. Yeah, okay, we're tough that way. And I'll never trade her ever. She's a good girl. I can't believe she can fit under that.
Rowdy, you're so sweet. Oh, Good if boy. I was oh. to kill her. She's like, yeah, no, myself, get out, get away from my stuff. Okay. Oh, that was, that was no. no, this She's is... defending her territory. Yeah. It's okay. And Does I'm a little concerned that Rowdy's that? sniffing a little too intense. Oh, oh my mommy. Mine. <laughs> my mommy. Wrigley can totally identify. Oh, you're right. Juice is great. Juice. Right. Don't no, worry about it. Juice's territory. So I'm doing something I rarely do. I am planning my outfit for tomorrow. What does one wear to a fashion show in a grocery store? So I think I'm wearing my BP Moto leggings in olive green with a gray cashmere sweater, just ignore the wrinkles, and then this faux fur vest on top, and then boots. I was going to do the full-on over-the-knee suede booties, but that might be a little much. So I could just go, plus then you won't see the cool moto detail, or will you? I guess that's up on my thighs. Maybe I'll just wait until I put the shoes on. I could just go with booties. I am going to a grocery store. So that's what I'm thinking. And then purse. Don't fall shoe. Purse. You know, I don't know. So many to choose from. First world problems. I just don't know. I've been wearing my, um, lighting is terrible. It looks terrible. Lighting has, lighting, what? Hello. I have, oh, hello. How about you? Bring her out. Yes. This is the Rebecca Minkoff saddlebag that I got in the anniversary sale that then sold out, like, immediately. It's back in stores. I just saw it in Nordstrom this week. It's not the suede version, but there's a pretty gray version that's grayish version that's in the stores right now. So, yes, I shall bring you out. That's cute. Plus, it's a crossbody. Then I can have my hands free. Alrighty then. Now I just need accessories. I love wearing these. They don't really go. I mean, they don't not go, but I love these. <sighs> this is not really a major thing but it's fun. It's fun to play dress up sometimes. I have so many things to choose from and um, I don't know. Maybe, do you, hear, do you hear Rowdy moaning? I fed him his dinner, which he's eaten in about 30 seconds flat. He needs to digest a little bit though before I let him out so that we can go potty. These, do they really go with the, well, they could go. Or, what about, these are new, yeah. These new arrowhead kind of faux marbly guys I just got from Bubble Bar, these are cool. It's kind of fun, it's fun to get a little more dressed up than usual and I will even wear my new bangles that I got from Bubble Bar. Are these fun? They're just a set of, they're more like cuffs than bangles, they're not a full bracelet, Let's see, can you see that? And then some of them have little sayings written inside them. But I can't actually read them because you have to be really young and have excellent eyesight. I'm neither, I have neither of those things. I don't have the lack of years and I don't have excellent eyesight. Okay, so I have earrings, I have bracelets. I don't think I'm going to wear a necklace because I have, oh, wait, I do have a necklace that I just got. Where did I put it? I'm so bad. I so need to organize. So many of you have been asking me to do uh, how I do my jewelry. The reason you haven't seen that is because you are assuming I am organized. Wrong! Um, I have it in concept, but clearly not in practice. So, um, yeah. Like, I have just a lone sock sitting on the top of my dresser. Why? I have earrings that I haven't even taken out of their package yet. How cool are these? Ooh, long dangly red earrings. Doesn't go with this outfit. I had a little choker necklace, like a delicate little choker necklace that was sent to me that I wore once. And I like it. I'm not a huge fan of the choker thing. I lived through it the first time in the 90s. Didn't love it then, but I really like this one because it's really delicate. And I set it down somewhere where I wouldn't lose it or misplace it, but I have forgotten where that is. Be right back. It was literally right in front of me, right behind this camera, and it's just so delicate that it's hard to see. Like I said, lacking the good vision. It's this really fine 
little gold chain. It also comes in silver, I think. This brand is carried at Nordstrom. I think it's carried at a bunch of department stores. Argento, Vivo, I think it's called. And um, anyway, it's a little choker. And you can choose how tight you want it. There's several different links of where you can, how tiny you want to make it. So I think that's perfect since I'm doing the crossbody. Okay, thanks for hanging out with me while I plan my outfit for tomorrow. I feel like we were all hanging out in the closet together. Uh, yeah, great. Now all I have to do is wash my hair tonight. And then I need to dry it. I usually let it air dry, but I'm in a rough blow it dry tonight because Michael is not here. He is in Oxford. He's going to take Jake home tomorrow. And um, in case Rowdy wakes up in the middle of the night, I do not want to go outside with a head of wet hair and it's like 40 degrees outside. That's too cold. So I'm going to go wash my hair. This is my Friday night, guys. This is, this is how I roll. It's just so fun. I'm having fun. I just watched Ladies of London. I'm going to wash my hair, get in some cozy clothes, and I'm going to watch Designated Survivor. That is my Friday night, and I love it. Well, I am all showered, and I have been chilling out with my buddies here. I have this little guy all curled up, and then I have, hang on, this little guy in pride of place on my lap, and Mimi is on top of the couch over there. That's how she likes to chill. So this was a very successful and pleasant Friday evening. Oh my gosh, so cute. I mean, he put himself in this position. I can't move my right arm. Can you tell? It's adorable. Anyway, somehow I have to figure out how to transport these furry little creatures and myself into bed because I'm tired and I'm going to go to sleep. So good night, everyone. Thanks for hanging out with us for another day. And I will see you tomorrow.